Don't stop. Go. The mobile starting gate helps make every start a true one. This is one of the many reasons harness racing continues as America's fastest growing sport. Tracks large and small draw 25 million fans a year. Here are the sights and sounds at New York's Roosevelt Raceway. Well, the field for the Adios Butler is approaching the starting gate. Looks like he's going to get a good start this time. And they're off, and it's uh, Vicky's Jet on the outside moving up for the lead. Royal Rick is in second position, Urban Paul third, Irish Napoleon fourth. Betting time moving on the outside, fifth, and Stephen Smith is sixth. Well, into the back stretch, and it's uh, Vicky's Jet leading by three parts of a length as Royal Rick rushes up on the outside. Royal Rick takes the lead as betting time ranges up on the outside. This is the Adios Butler Cup race. Named for the fastest harness horse that ever lived, the pacer, Adios Butler. It's also an open or free-for-all race. That means it's open to the fastest horses at the meeting. And seven terrific pacers are speeding around that oval for a purse of $25,000. Like all harness racetracks, in easy view of the spectator. Irish boy, second, Urban Hall down the middle of the track, third. Stephen Smith on the outside, fourth. That's Royal Rick in front. And they're not going to catch this horse. He's being eased up, Royal Rick. And the winner, Royal Rick, by two and a half lengths. Urban Hall, second, Stephen Smith on the outside, third. Vicky's jet, fourth. Happy winners. Pacer Royal Rick and driver trainer George Schulte share the magic spotlight. Far from the colorful lights and tracks, from such lovely farms as Castleton in Lexington, Kentucky, come future harness racing champions. The bluegrass is one of the breeding grounds for the standard bred trotter and pacer, the most famous breed of horse ever originated in the United States. Years and years of selective breeding have improved this wonderful animal's ability to stay on gait at speeds once considered impossible. Here in Illinois is Greyhound, still the world's record holder for the one mile trot at one minute 55 and a quarter seconds. This aged gelding, 31 years old, the equivalent of nearly 100 in humans, still shows a champion's form, even though time has turned him pure white. Greyhound, the grand old man of harness racing. One of the main winter training areas is Florida, and here at Pompano Beach, work starts early in the morning. Harness horses are developed slowly and seldom rushed into racing. As a result, they're able to race more often and with less danger of injury as they grow older. And their racing expectancy is long. Speed, stamina, and stride, these are what every trainer is after. Around and around, the pacers and trotters develop their racing heritage. Training a new horse calls for patience and care, especially in introducing it to bridle, bit, and harness. Say, Rover has ideas of being a trainer, too. For a long time, the trainer simply walks behind the new horse, teaching him to respond to commands and to pressure on the reins. Stopping, starting, and walking come before racing. Then come the shafts of a sulky, the high-speed lightweight racing bike or jog cart. And the young harness horse continues to develop his muscles, his wind, and his manners. The mobile starting gait is another instrument the young horse must become accustomed to. Introduced in 1946, this mechanical means to starting races has revolutionized the sport. But every newcomer must be trained to use it, to get close to it, to pick up speed from 10 to 30 miles an hour for the getaway. The sport of harness racing has many famous drivers who are trainers, too. One of the best is Stanley Dancer. Incidentally, the weight of the driver and sulky 
is considered of little consequence. Stanley weighs 142 pounds, but other fine drivers vary from 100 to 200 pounds. Dancer and his assistant, Dick Baker, will provide you with a good look at some perfect examples of pacing and trotting. Number 62 on the outside there is Henry T. Adios, one of America's greatest pacers, and on the inside is Sumac Ladd, richest harness horse of all time. Actually, pacers never race against trotters because their gait is easier and they are slightly faster. The leather straps or hobbles on Henry T. Adios keeps his legs moving in unison and help him to maintain his gait. The sheepskin roll on his nose keeps him from shying at shadows on the track. Let's concentrate first on Dancer and Sumac Ladd, who shows you the diagonal stride of the trotter, a high-stepping, straight-ahead gait. Now, a close-up of Dick Baker and an example of the pacer's footwork, a lateral gait in which the legs on the same side move forward and back together. Here in slow motion, you can follow the rhythmic gait of a trotter, the left front and the right hind legs moving forward in unison. A beautiful sight. Now the camera focuses on the great Lehigh Hanover, pacing perfection in action, trained and driven by Stanley Dancer. The marked roll or side wheeling effect caused by the two side legs moving in unison is clearly seen from head on. At Meadowlands Farm near Pittsburgh is the leading harness racing sire of all time, Adios. Both of the champion pacers you have just seen are his sons. A tremendous competitor in his own racing days, Adios's numerous offspring have won purses totaling more than $12 million. He has been the leading money-winning sire of any breed in world racing, either harness or running. Racing under the stars at big metropolitan tracks like Yonkers Raceway, north of New York City, makes harness racing more exciting, glamorous, and convenient to the public. This is the United Nations Trot, matching the finest trotters from around the world with the best in the United States. Born in the country fairgrounds of old, trotting has made global strides to every corner of the earth. Tonight, entries from France, Belgium, Italy, and New Zealand start against four top American trotters. Distance, a mile and a half for a purse of $60,000. They're off, and driven by his trainer, George Schulte. Orbiter, number three, takes the lead. Number four, Ravioli, the horse from Belgium, is running second. Coming up to challenge Orbiter is that super money horse, Sumac Lad, number six, Stanley Dancer at the reins. A tremendously exciting drive by Billy Houghton brings number five, Duke Rodney, storming to the wire. And he goes on to win over Orbiter, with Sumac Ladd taking third. Owned by Pat DeGennaro and trained by driver Billy Houghton, Duke Rodney is another star of the growing sport of harness racing. These are truly bred winners.